Hello and welcome to this session on concepts for drawing the glass diagram. Glass diagram is a type of static structure diagram that describes the structure of the system by showing the system classes, their attributes, operations and relationship among the objects. Or we can say a class diagram is a collection of class, property, operations and the relationship among the classes. Now let's see what is class. A class is a set of objects share a common structure, common behavior and common semantics. Or we can say a class is the blueprint from which the individual objects are created. This is a simple uh, notation of a class. The class is shown using rectangular box. If you want to declare a class with name, attribute and operation, then the rectangular box is, is divided into three compartments. The first compartment is the class name. In that we can specify the name of the class. The second compartment is the attribute declaration. And the third compartment is the operation declaration compartment. Now the first one is the class name. The class name should be centered and in bold face inside the first compartment or the first rectangular box with the first letter of the class name is capitalized and it is always appear in the topmost compartment. We use a singular noun for name of the class. The second compartment is the attribute declaration. As we all know, an attribute is the name property of a class and that describes the values held by the object of the class which is being modeled. Third compartment is the operation. The operation describes the class behavior and it is declared in the third compartment. This is a simple example of a class. Uh, this is a rectangular box. It is divided into three compartments. The first section or the compartment is the name section of a class. The second one is the attribute section of a class and the third one is the operation compartment. Here I have declared one class with the name person and P here P is the first letter of the class is a capital. The second is the attribute declaration and the third one is the operations. Uh, now, the notations for declaring attributes of the property. Here, this is the format, specification format of attribute. The format is the visibility, property name, colon, type, in square bracket, multiplicity is equal to default value and in curly braces, the property string. Uh, this is the attribute format, declaring format. The visibility property are denoted by the public. We use the public for declaring attribute as a public, hash for declaring attribute as a protected, minus for declaring attribute as a private, and 
if you want to uh, specify the attribute as a derived then we use the slash forward slash the property name is underline if the property is static the property could have multiplicity the multiplicity bounds the constraint the size of the collection of property values by default the maximum bound is 1 the default value option is an expression for the default value or the values of the property the derived property designated by the preceding slash is one that can be computed or calculated from the other properties or the other attributes but doesn't actually exist this is the symbol or this is the notation of the property this plus indicate that it is a public attribute or which is of type string the second is the date of the birth it is also a public and the data type is the date here the roll number is again public and data type is string and is property again it is a unique this is a constraint we specify constraint in the curly braces here the age is the derived attribute so derived public attribute so we have declared here plus slash and of type integer next compartment as we have already seen is a operation declaration compartment so how to declare or specify the format specification format of attribute the visibility operation name parameter name return type Again, visibility of the operation are denoted by public as plus sign hash for protected and minus for the private. The operation name is underlined if it is static and is italic if it is abstract. The return type of the operation is optional. An operation may be a read only static ordered unique abstract sequential guarded or the concurrent all these are the property of the at operation this third sec third compartment or the section show that the it is operation section or operation declaration section this hash is said that this record attendance method is of type protected method and whose return type is the boolean means it returns only two value that is true and the false the calculate eh attribute is of public type and whose return type is the integer now Take a moment to reflect on what I have just said about concepts of the class declaration. Can you list one example of this question? Draw one class symbol with class name as an account account number and amount as a public attribute and withdraw and deposit are the public operations you can pause the video for a minute while you think about this and then write it down in notepad or document in your device once you complete writing you can resume the video
I hope you have written one example for above question. So let me tell you the answer that I have written. So I have declared the class. First I have draw the rectangular box of with three compartment. The first is the class name account then account number and amount as a public attribute so i have written here plus account number which is of type integer plus amount which is of type double in third withdraw and the deposit are the public operations so i have written plus deposit method or plus withdraw method before going to the next lecture or the session, we have one practice activity for you on the basis of this video. It is just a simple activity to check whether you understand the various concepts for drawing the class. Make sure you do this activity before proceeding further. Thank you.